All right, we've been using the OMT torque sticks for, what, over a year now, Jamie? Yeah. This is the uh, 120 foot pounds, and we want to make sure they're still accurate. See if they've held the test of time, the abuse. So let's go ahead and tighten these lug nuts with it. And then we've got the sewer cup torque wrench right here. This is the half inch, goes up to 160 foot pounds. We'll see if those sticks are still accurate. We're set to 120 foot pounds. This goes up to 170. I misspoke earlier. So anyways, we'll pop it on there. Let's see where we're at. It's at 120. Now we want to make sure we're not over torquing. So let's go up to 130. Oh, it's at 130. Let's go up to 140. Ooh, 150. Still clicking, 160, still clicking. Now, maybe it's the sewer cup uh, torque wrench that's bad. So let's grab another torque wrench. All right, we got the precise built torque wrench out. I set it to 130, same lug nut. Let's go up to 160 on the precise build. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> What is it actually torquing at now? We don't know. 190? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. That, that probably is. Hello, I'm Finn. I'm holding his phone. Over 190. So that Ryobi, we got the newer model of Ryobi, the 262. Okay. Even with the torque stick extender on there, it's still going up to 200 foot pounds plus. Now I'm just curious what the heck it's actually at. So let's go, let's bump it up to 205. And this is why you always test your torque sticks and uh, buy quality torque sticks if you're gonna use them. 205 foot pounds now. Oh, it moved a little. Mm -hmm. So we were somewhere in between 190 and 205 foot pounds. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that torque stick is going in scrap metal now. But brand new, how well do they work? Let me grab one that we don't use very often. Let's go ahead and take this lug nut back off. Hey. Put in the 130 torque stick on. And this one is one that I never use, is the 130. See, it's nice and shiny, no scuffs. No scuffs. When I tested these when I first got them, they were dead on. But they've had over a year of use. Go, just popped it on, didn't hammer it on too much. Now it's supposed to be at 130. So let's set our torque wrench right on 130. Almost nailed it without even looking at it. I was only one foot pound off. Let me see. Right at 130, right oh, there. Yeah. Boom. Hello. All right, 130, putting the pressure on it. Clicked right away. Now let's bump it up to 140. All right, 140, here we go. Okay. Let's go higher. This is 160. Yep, it moves at 160. 150. Right there, just barely moved a little bit. So it's about at 155 and it's a 130 torque stick that I uh, don't use. And when we tested, I think three different styles when they were brand new, they, uh, or three different torque spec sticks, they were uh, all dead on when they were new. Maybe we have used this a few times, but there's no wear and tear on this one. Um, I don't know if we tested the 130 or not. Yeah, I'm sure we did it. Then again, this torque wrench Hello. did take a pretty big hit. We got a crack in the handle and the back cover popped off. Could be the torque wrench that's off. Can I see? Yeah. A little crack that there. Pop. Where's the crack? Yeah. Right there and that popped off. Yeah, there's supposed to be a cover down there. It's got a crack. I ended. I needed to do like 250 foot pounds and I couldn't quite the angle get on it so I put a pipe on the end which was not a good idea to put onto a plastic handle torque wrench so let's see 
the sewer cup torque wrench, see where that's at, because I may have damaged the integrity of this. Pulls the loosener back up. Go with the 130. Just hammer it on there. Set this to 130. Oh, by the way, torque wrench tips. Always bring them back down at the end of the night. Don't leave them tensioned up. That can also make them uh, wear out over time. We're at 130, let's see what, oh, it just moved just a hair and then clicked. So that torque wrench is definitely damaged. And these torque sticks, while they're new, are dead on. But after a year and a half of use, yeah, so if you use, if you torque down a lot of lug nuts, these uh, torque sticks, they're known to wear out. Don't rely on them. That's why a lot of people don't like torque sticks is over time, they become inaccurate. And if you ever crack your torque wrench, make sure you compare it with another torque wrench. Make sure it's still on. That one's off. This sewer cup one is fairly new. You can see it's got very little wear. It's still accurate. And uh, that precise built one, I learned my lesson. Don't put a big pipe on them if they're plastic handled. You can see the sewer cup one has a metal handle. It feels really good in your hands. I like the design. It's really slick. There you go. Well, torque test video. Get you later.